Spring is here. Congratulations to the Liwa Nation, Maxine Joseph Bruce, and all the people who put in so much time and energy on delivering an incredibly successful rodeo last weekend. It was an exceptional event. Thank you for welcoming all of us. A newly refurbished interpretive panel that celebrates the life of Walter Zabrowski was unveiled at a public ceremony today, May 26th. For over 30 years, Walter was involved in a wide range of initiatives in Whistler, including donating Eva Lake Park to the community, helping establish Whistler's first water supply, bringing television reception to the community, and founding a number of organizations that serve this town so well to today, including the Whistler Volunteer Fire Department, the Whistler Chamber of Commerce, and the Whistler Rotary Club. It was a special event. Walter is truly an example of how to leave a legacy in a town you love. We are better for all he did here. Transit drivers and the transit company will be negotiating tomorrow. If no deal is agreed to by Saturday, this will unfortunately become the longest transit strike in BC history. To both sides, I will ask again, please get a deal now or choose independent binding arbitration. We are all counting on you for a solution here. As we move into spring and summer, the Resort Municipality of Whistler will be starting many important capital projects to improve services in Whistler. Major municipal projects include the Alta Vista services upgrade, the Rainbow Park rejuvenation project, PRV upgrades and decommissioning, and sewer manhole and main upgrades. You can learn more about the planned projects and how they will impact you through our website at uh, whistler.ca slash construction dash projects. That's whistler.ca slash construction dash projects. Thanks for your time today. Take care of yourself and take care of each other.